This tutorial is designed to show students how to switch between the data and variable view in SPSS and the usefulness of both different views. So currently what we have open on the screen is the data view, where we have our variables displayed in a format which is very like Microsoft Excel. In this view we can look at the values for each in different variable and see whether they've been imported correctly and also make changes to values. The variable view, on the other hand, provides a summary of the three different variables which I have in my data set. It gives the name of the variable, the type variable, so whether it's string or text and numeric. It gives the number of decimal places it goes to, whether I want to attach a label, particular values and missing numbers, the number of columns associated with it, and so on. So we have a lot of different information available here. Now I have consumption and income which are actually expressed as US dollars. So rather than just being numeric, they actually possess a monetary value. So what we can do in SPSS is select numeric and actually change this to dollar and select OK. We can do the same for income, select dollar and there's numerous different ways we can define it and select OK. So now what we've done is changed consumption and income to dollars. When we go into our data view, we can see the dollar symbol now appears beside both. The other thing we can do is attach labels to the variable. So in essence, we have our variable name, and then labels will appear on graphs and other factors which we generate in SPSS. So for consumption, we can label this US consumption. in dollars. And we can label income, US income, in dollars. So what we can do essentially is label different variables, change their type, change the number of decimal places displayed, and see a summary of whether we have any missing values within it. When using SPSS, it is best to actually ensure that all labels have been attached prior to generating any graphics or running any analyses, and that the correct units of measurement are entered. If we go back into the units of measurement, we can see we can attach date, custom currencies, string, scientific notations to all these different values. That concludes this tutorial on using the data and variable view. Further tutorials are available on YouTube.